uh, Charlie and I are still around St. Louis, uh, just messing around, doing a few Route 66 kind of things today. Uh, first thing you spotted there, and we're going to check it out a little bit closer here in a second too, is the world's largest bottle of ketchup. It was built in 1949, I believe. It used to be a ketchup bottling plant here. It's a 170 foot tall. It's actually a water tower. Um, the ketchup plant's gone, but the ketchup bottle still stands here. Another major Route 66 icon here in the St. Louis area is the old Chain of Rocks Bridge. It's no longer a bridge that you can drive across. There's a new Chain of Rocks Bridge up the river from it, but this is one of the old original bridges uh, on Route 66. It's been closed to vehicle traffic for a long time, but you can walk across, bike across. Uh, goes from Illinois into Missouri. In uh, 1991, there were a couple murders here. Famous Chain of Rocks Bridge murders. And uh, it was used in the, uh, the filming of Escape from New York, too, as a bridge that was supposed to be in the overgrown Manhattan. Moving back on into downtown St. Louis, we're going to check out, uh, it's an old attraction here, a Lack Leeds Landing Wax Museum. It's in an old warehouse building from the 1880s, but it's a really cool, bad but good wax museum. Part of it's like a haunted house downstairs. We're going to check out the whole place here. in you head up the stairs one of the first things you see is the Star Wars part here I guess maybe some of these are considered wax statues but some of them I know were store displays I remember seeing and you got some sports stuff here these are some wax statues and then the Madame Tussaud there actually have her in wax here some historical figures a lot of these I guess are pretty old some of them are creepier than others but uh it's kind of cool. I have no idea how old this place is. Some of it's got a maybe a seventies vibe to it. Here's the creepiest Snow White and the Seven Doors. I've ever seen. Uh, this kind of has a 70s, maybe 80s feel, early 80s, and stuff like Washington here. And then there's some kind of more recent presidents. Downstairs, they had uh, Obama and Trump as you first walk in. Here's a weird, crazy looking Lincoln. Bush isn't too horrible. Carter's not crazy horrible. <laughs> Spock and the Men in Black. Thankfully we didn't get slapped there by Will Smith. And we're going to lead in. We haven't been to the haunted house part yet, but this part was maybe the creepiest in the whole whole building. The, the biblical scenes. Uh, there's just a real creepy vibe here going on. It was cool though. biblical stuff was legit wax statues but I don't think any of this right here is this looks more like movie kind of uh, stuff they'd have out at movie theaters I know the master chief there from Halo was a statue video game stores would have so that's not a wax statue I don't think this right here is either probably not Indiana Jones there either there's Johnny Johnny Depp without any bruises on him from Amber Heard
really real creepy spot here with a you know, 70s 80s vibe going on looks like some of these are some older wax statues legit wax statues and then that leads us downstairs to the haunted house part charlie wasn't a big fan of this part but uh, it was cool some 80s movie kind of stuff going on and i guess some of these are just random wax statues of different victims and monsters and stuff it was cool up here in the wax museum still not finished with st louis we're still going to go up in the arch we'll do that next time check it out the view from up top but uh for now we're going to head on out of here and see what else we can get into